What is this? Slime mold stock. Oh, probably should research some of this stuff. Raw gas mask. Red ant. Oh, this is armor. Slime mold torch. All right, so we got some new stuff we can craft. Slime mold torch. Torch like stock from a cluster of mold. Oh, I can also use the items in the storage as well, so it doesn't need to be in my inventory. That is convenient. Okay, so let's put all of these in here, I guess. Or wait, I do need uh, this stuff here. Just make sure that got all of this stuff. Okay, so I can't research this just yet. So I guess I'll just keep it in my inventory for the time being. We still don't have Nat Fuzz. Now I'm probably going to need the hammer here. We'll get one of these. Over poncho. Uh, we need some ropes here. We don't have clover leaves anymore. Okay, so I didn't get as many as I thought. Still need a grub hide. Uh, I think that is it for the time being. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, get some of that uh, water. Hey, come back here. Hey, I don't want to be drinking the water on the ground. Let's try to get some of the dew. Oh, we got some sap here. And I see some dew. Feeling refreshed. So yeah, a lot of this stuff respawns, so... Shouldn't be too concerned. Also get some mushrooms. There we go. Gonna need that meat for later. Also gonna have to... Guard my food because those ants are eating my food. I don't like it. What is this? Oh, there's a dew drop on the ground. Alright, so the tree is in that direction. Oh, we should craft another torch, but I'll wait until it's like really, really dark. Can I even craft it right now? Actually, no, I can't. I need dry grass chunks. Should get on that then. How's that? And crump. What the hell was that? Okay, I'm gonna leave those dew drops on the ground. This is. Oh, this looks like a uh, some kind of drink. Yeah, it's a juice box. I have no way of uh, bringing it with me, so it's just going to have to be like that. Well, let's continue on to the oak tree over there. 
Yeah, what? Like, what was that sound? Come here, Aphid. There'd you go. All right, at this point, I need some dry grass. Okay, let's get their dry grass first because I need that torch. I need it like right now. Okay. What? I only got two? Oh, there we go. Let's cut down another one for good measure. Okay, that should be it. Okay. Continue onward. Hey, there's a lantern there. What the? What is that sound? What is that sound? Let's try not to fall to our death, shall we? Anyway. This is the objective here, it looks like. Oh, what do we have here? That glowy thing looks like some real... Looks like some real... Something cut you off there. Ah, here we go. Let's analyze this. Ah, red ant worker head mount. Okay, so it unlocks all of this now. Aphid slippers. And this is raw weevil meat. Weevil shield. Alright, I think we can turn the torch off. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle. Please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to Raw Science. Order received. Raw Science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g g, -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Hey, I'm supposed to hold this down. System reboot in progress. What's up? Thanks for the helping hand. I am B -B 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 Burgle, acting science manager for this project. I am also a robot. No way. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. Chat with Burgle. I am sure this all must be very disorienting for you, but hopefully I can explain. And you. I suspect you were miniaturized by Dr. Tully's spacer device. Why are you here in the yard? I do not know. In fact, I cannot seem to recall much of anything. A recent power surge has caused a massive raw science containment explosion. This lab, as you can see, is a disaster. And what's worse, the explosion has disrupted my computing power. 
My memory banks are corrupted. Sorry to pile on the bad news, my new friend. How can I be of service? Where am I? You are here in the Oak Lab, built and used by Dr. Wendell Tatelli to experiment on all things small. This is the base of operations for conducting experiments in his yard. Dr. Tully is a brilliant scientist and inventor. He is also my creator. My initial protocol was to serve as the short order cook of the future. However, I have been recently promoted to acting science manager to assist with his experiments. No doubt my previous work experience has been invaluable to Dr. Tully. Although, now that I am processing it, I have not seen him for several weeks. And now I cannot recall where he went. It must be my corrupted memory banks. It seems you and I are both a little discombobulated. Given my best calculations, your biomass has been subject to covalent spacing reduction via interatomic energy extraction. In other words, you have been shrunk. It is likely this was achieved using Dr. Wendell Tully's spacer platform. Shrinking can be a traumatic experience for tiny human brains, and memory loss is a known side effect. Hopefully, your memory will return in time. To return to your prior size, you would need to successfully activate Dr. Tully's spacer platform. All right, let's do that. Unfortunately, my readings indicate it is inoperable. It appears to have suffered several malfunctions from the explosion. I am sorry, but it appears you may be stranded here for some time until we find a solution. Haha! <laughs> that is a great idea. Let me run a full diagnostic scan on it and see what we need to do to get it fixed up. Processing! Process- Memory fault. Code ARG. I am sorry again. Without those memories, I do not know how to repair the spacer. Dr. Tully used two types of chips to back up my memory. Auxiliary chips are small capacity chips used to store project data. Its super chips are special. And they are gold. If we are going to fix the spacer, that data is bound to be on a super chip. I suggest exploring the other labs in the backyard. Return with any memory chips you find. Dr. Tully has built many more labs throughout the yard. Each lab is used for various experimental procedures. Processing. Air, cheese, and fries. The lab location. But we are in luck. I was able to retrieve the location of one of the facilities. Uh, let's just the keep this going. Is the observation center of the yard and used for research. You will find the hedge near the house if you head southeast. The lab is located deep inside southeast. the hedge, sending the coordinates to your scabby. Try to find the hedge lab first, but there is nothing stopping you from searching the yard for the... That reminds me. Dr. Tully locks the important labs with head over to the ASL terminal and place your hand on the biome. Once you are registered, you will be ASL grants access to daily work items. Nay, tasks. Nay, quests. Yes, quests. I will reward you raw science for each completed quest. In my science shop, you can trade raw science back for survival recipes from experiments. Okay, so that's what it's used for. When he was first exploring the yard, log on to the ASL terminal. Unless you have any other questions, you really should get to have an exponent. All right, so we're going to research some more stuff, get some more raw science so we can get more recipes. Let's try to pick up everything we can get our hands on. to use there we go so we should be able to access pretty much everything here okay science shop go here porch plus missing station Cooking 101, multi story bases. Okay, so we can build a base somewhere. Meat shield. What's the new mutation? Mutations? Hmm. Do 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 do. Collection of new items displayed. I don't need that. Scab scanner for science. 
Incoming diagnostic. Recommended choice. Okay, so the thumbs up is a recommended choice. So I'm guess we'll go with the spissing station and cooking 101. Except I don't have enough for this anymore. Didn't have enough to begin with. Okay, let's do a quest. Kill two weevils. Like those are easy enough to kill. Complete trail marker at Great Oak Beacon. Are these like side quests? I don't know where this is, but I'll accept it anyway. Or just take all three. This opens up to... So we're back here. And we can just analyze this. We get nothing except raw science. This is unpowered. Why is this unpowered? How do we power this up though? Okay, we have to hold this down. What is this? Science is out of control. Wait a minute, this requires the hammer. Requires a higher tier tool. Okay, so there's multiple tiers of tools. This morning I installed the borrowed lab modules. Another one of my forgotten inventions from the early days. I had such grand notions back then. The Kinder Science Mini Quick Little Chemist Lab Educational Toy for Children. But no, Wendell, we can't possibly put hydrochloric acid into the hands of children. The lawyers will never agree. <laughs> it's a good thing I never told them about the Bunsen burners. Odd that Ominent has been using my toy pieces in this way. Hmm. I digress. The lab network is now up and running in the backyard. I'm planning to dedicate each one of them to a different function. Main power will run through here. The Oak Lab is the center of operations for the backyard. The second lab is nestled into the hedge. Such wonderful views from up there. Side note, I'm worried that Arminen's shoddy manufacturing of the lab pieces will cause them to fall apart over time. But they will do for now. Oh, fuck! What the fuck just happened? Wolf spider. Uh-huh, so... I just got messed up by a wolf spider. I didn't even see it. Alright, so let's go back and get our stuff. So these things are spawning now. This could work for my science fair project. Where's the tree? Oh, the tree is in this direction. Okay, so it is 450 centimeters away. Oh yeah, that's right. We got shrunk down. So, I'm so used to seeing everything in meters. But oh, that's an ant. So I guess it's dangerous to be running around during the night time because the spiders are hunting you down or something. What was that? Oh, come on, get out of the way. Oh, that's the spider. 
It's actually quite hard to see him. Hey, a gigantic acorn. Oh, geez, there's a lot of... Those aren't bees, though. Acorn bits. Okay, we are almost at stuff here. We just take it all. Looks like everything's still here. Yeah, take all. Except. Ah, uh, okay. Let's drop this. Get back our axe. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna have to get out of here. Armed Raspberry Punch- Oh, I see you. Yeah, the big-ass spider is over there. So we're going to have to make our way back to base, which is like somewhere in this direction. Oh, you know what? I have a map. Like, why don't I just use it? Base is over here. We got some science up there. What is this thing? Flower petal. Okay, spider web. We'll pass through here. What this looks like. That tastes really good. Yeah, we got some dew here. Where are we going? We're supposed to go in this direction. What is that sound? Oh, got some low hanging dew. Let's, let's do the dew. Oh shit! Evade. No, I'm not. I'm running away. Oh no. Oh no! Uh, larva? Ow! Oh, what the hell? Where am I? Oh, fucking out! Run! What just killed Wolf Spider? Ah! It's like I was lost in the wilderness here. The funny thing is, I have a map with me. Like, I can check the map at any time. Probably should check the map, like, a little bit more. Just so that I know where I'm going. Uh, stamina. Come on. And probably shouldn't pick up anything. Just so we can just pick up the backpack. Like, I have a full inventory with me. Yeah, what is that sound? Oh shit. Oh 
Fuck you. Let's go. Alright, got the high ground. Orb Weaver Jr. You know what? I'm gonna leave. Like, you're too tanky. Where am I going now? Go in this general direction. So, for this game, it might be a good idea to set up multiple bases. Like, we'll have one central base near our spawn. And then we'll just have places where we can dump stuff. Okay, so these are the mints. Now let's look up. Uh, we'll just look up and we'll see the machinery there. Or we can just go over here because this is where our base is. Okay, acorn bits. Boost juice. Let's just keep this going. So, anyway, let's put all of this stuff in our inventory. Uh, deposit stack. Oh, yeah, let's just do this. There we go. And then we're gonna put all of this stuff in here. Now we need to stand guard, make sure those ants don't take our food. Because that is really annoying. And yeah, these things are respawning. Okay, we don't need a torch anymore. Hey, this should be done now. Okay, can I like put this down here? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so let's eat this stuff. No, no, no. 